Kelly, are you allowed to talk about your most recent project? I'm allowed to talk about anything. Oh, I, love <laughs> <it>. <laughs> you know, I think that's the first time I've heard that. Yeah, no, I have a, I have a number of things going on. I have a, a show called Food Than Fit, which is a uh, unscripted fitness show where you know we go around, and the first day is a food day where we eat everything we want, and the next day is the fit day where we work it all off. So we're going to travel to every you know different cities, different different celebrity chefs, different you know celebrities and cel athletes that are helping us work uh, work all the stuff off. So that's one of the projects. I have a project called That Guy because everyone knows me and they don't know I'm how they that know guy. me. That guy. So I was like, hey, you're that you're that guy. I was walking down the street the other day. Someone said to me, hey, aren't you what's his face? <laughs> Well, yes. Yes, I am. I said, yeah, aren't you? So I have a pilot called That Guy that's being shopped around. And I also have some other scripts. I'm also doing a lot of writing now. So uh, I got some things coming up. And I also do a show called Dog with a Blog on Disney. So, I'm, you know, I'm popping up. You and are. I'm going to be in your dreams. I'm omnipresent. You're going to be that guy <laughs> in that my guy, dreams. That guy. Now, with a show like That Guy, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. where's the idea come from? Aside from you being on the street and people pointing you out, where well, do you decide to turn it into a show? Well, you know, I've been in this business for 20 years, and I've been blessed to, you know, have a, a lot of success. And some writer friends of ours, you know, we got together and said, how can we cultivate, you know, this, you know, my pseudo D-list celebrity? And so we kind of <laughs> we kind of came up with the idea. And the beauty of the show is um, it's kind of like entourage meets um, Curb Your Enthusiasm. And there's a lot of improv, but there's also great opportunities for, you know, stars to come on and play themselves and for A-list guys to come on. Because I know a lot of those cats because 20 years in the industry you just meet everybody so it just kind of it naturally came out of me being in the business for for 20 years it just happened very organically that's awesome yeah it's great i want to go back to your one about fitness okay yes working off food that you ate the day before that's got to be painful well you know what look we're all trying to find balance and so you know the show is actually about balance because we're all trying to do what we can to stay in shape but we also like you know look i like to go out i like to party i like to eat i like to do all that but i have to do you know what I can to, to stay in shape because this body, the body doesn't just happen. <laughs> you don't just wake up like that. You just don't wake up pudgy. You gotta work on it. But you know, you know, it's a show again about balance, and we, we can have fun, we can eat, we can drink, but you know, let's work it off the next day. And so there's different great exercises that, that we do. Each city has different places that we you know go and utilize, and so it's gonna be a real fun travel fitness adventure show. And with traveling, will you just stay in the States? Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to be everywhere. We're going to be international. And that's the beauty of, you know, the show is that it can, it, it can translate anywhere. Because when you're traveling, you know, you're eating rich foods and fatty foods and stuff you haven't tried before. But, you know, there's different, like, exercises you can do, you know, in, in the hotels or exercises you can do when you're in Paris or... Man! <laughs> there's exercises you can do that are specific to like to Paris and to Rome and to, to, to Russia and, and so it's going to be amazing for people to see that hey I can travel but I can also do what I can not to put on 20 pounds while I'm traveling and what so. you notice too when you are traveling I mean we're from Canada what we see I love, I love me some Canada I spent a lot of time in Vancouver shooting that's some stuff that's where we are wow. well, hello Vancouver hello Sutton Place I've stayed there a million times hello everybody I forget the name. What's the name of the place across the street? That's the um, that's the bar across from the Sutton place. Bar across from Sutton place. <laughs> oh wanna... my goodness. Yeah, that's all right. Don't worry about it. We don't we're not gonna, you know, <laughs> pro here. product placement. <laughs> Well, hello, Sutton Place. I want a free room. But no, I, lo I love Vancouver. And again, Vancouver is one of the cities we're going to come for food than fit. And we're going to run through Stanley, Stanley Park. And we're going to eat some of the beautiful food you guys have there. And so. Now, do you find it trying at all when you're going from place to place? Here they have to list all the calories on right. everything. Right. That's not everywhere. Well, I, I you know what I I think people with all the cal I think people should know what's in their food. I think people should know it's you know modified or anything like that. But again, at the end of the day, most people are kind of you know they understand a sense of balance. And so even if stuff isn't labeled, you know you don't have to eat the whole bag. <laughs> you know. You don't have to. You it don't have happen. to. I just happen to, but I don't have. Have to, but it, again, it's all—it's all about balance. And so I think if you—if you—if you're a label reader, which I'm not necessarily, but my co-host she is, she knows food and fitness, you know, back and forth. And I'm just a regular Joe who likes to eat, and you know, I don't worry about any calories. I don't do that, but I do, like I said, try to balance it out. So it, again, it's—it's it's fun to—it's fun to be balanced. We stay in shape, but we—but we have, but we live life and we have fun. I look forward to watching it. Food then fit, baby. Food then fit. Get ready for it. I have one more question. Yeah, I try to ask you each of my guests. More. You may have two more. I might. Canada. It depends on where this goes. Okay. Oh my goodness. All right. So yes, I'm single. <laughs> yes. Girl. Done. We knew where no was more going. questions. Let's get out. <laughs> <laughs> my last question is actually about your socks. I believe socks tell a lot about a person. Oh my goodness. And I would like to know if you will show me your socks. Oh no, no I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. It, I, yeah, I don't know if it's gonna be. 
anything. It's just, you know, basic black. And are they both? Oh, yeah. What did I do? Did I actually go and get a pair of socks that match? It doesn't right. Look, and I pulled them all the way up. They're the same shade. And here we go. Here we go. This, you know, that's gangster. One down and one up. That's that's gangster. What? We're shite. We're shite. So I'm gonna go. That's how. That's how we do it. I but like socks, it. you like socks? Are I you do, socks girl? absolutely. Might have to go buy some hosiery There today, you go. <laughs> since now we're dating. <laughs> That's right. Thank you, you so much no for problem. your time. Thank I you, really sweetheart. appreciate right. it. <laughs>